So welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 23 News Show. Today we're talking about the latest FIFA 23 leaks. It's looking like this week is finally the week for the FIFA 23 official reveal. We've got some information about what EA is going to be revealing over the next couple of weeks. Plus we've got some potential FIFA 23 screenshots that have already been leaked and we're just going to go over all the latest news. Now of course if you do enjoy the news show make sure you leave a like for me. It always helps when you do that and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss anything in the world of FIFA 23. Today's video is sponsored by Mule Factory. If you want to get some FIFA coins for yourself check out the link in the description and use my code VAPEXFOOT for a 5% discount. So if everything goes to plan, FIFA 23 should be revealed this week, and this is what you should expect. And this is coming from FIFA U Team, so we should be getting the cover reveal, the reveal trailer, first screenshots, release date, hypermotion news, first gameplay features, dual entitlement and crossplay information, the PC specs, EA Play details, the different editions, and of course pre-orders will be opening up as well. It looks like we're going to be getting a lot of information over the next couple of weeks for this game. Donk Trading has said that Pro Clubs and Volta will be revealed in the same presentation in August. That probably means that there's not much changes. Usually, if it's big, they'll have their own days. But, yeah, this year they're going to be combined, apparently. Hypermotion 2.0 has its own presentation, which is going to be the last week of July, so maybe in another week or two. You'll see the new animations and stadium camera technology used, getting rid of the suits from last year. And, of course, Career Mode will have its own separate announcement as well, or presentation. It seems like there is quite a bit to go through, which is good news. So hopefully, you know, it's going to be a good reveal. We need something good for crew mode this year. Ultimate team reveal is not until early August. It's going to be the last reveal in this cycle. We've got some potential FIFA 23 sort of screenshots and leaks and stuff. So this was another placeholder photo, and it's sort of like a blue now. Last video, we had like a creamy color. This one is blue. And of course, placeholder photos can change. There's also this screenshot here, which apparently is FIFA 23. I don't know if it's in-game footage or CGI, but Haaland has a new face and also Jack Grealish has an updated face as well. And apparently the grass looks better as well. This could be maybe CGI, whatever. You know what EA usually do, the Photoshop stuff. Now we've got some potential covers here. I don't know if this is real. So FIFA 23 there with Mbappe. There's another one here. So this could be the different additions there. I don't know if that's going to be 100% true. The cover stars for FIFA 23 apparently are Mbappe and Sam Kerr, which is a women's Australian uh, soccer player or football player. The FIFA 23 close reveal has already occurred. You can see creators like Bateson get invited there. And I did not get invited, of course. But um, yeah, they've already seen the game, seen the presentation and stuff. I think a few journalists probably were there as well. Foot underscore camp talks about chemistry in FIFA 23. Players don't need to be lined up next to each other. Three star system as already known. Zero stars doesn't affect in-game stats of single cards. And icons and heroes have full chemistry in the right position. And finally, the Argentinian Association has renewed its license with EA. It's going to be a multi-year license agreement for both the Argentinian national team and the Argentinian professional league as well. So it's going to count FIFA 23 and subsequent releases, so EA Sports FC games as well, with the official clothing of the national team and all the assets of the Argentinian league as well. And that's pretty much it for that. 